Hello everybody, this is Shudipta from Technical Potpourri and welcome to another new video on Google Cloud. Today, I'll be showing you how you can create custom image to create your virtual machine and most importantly, why we should do that. So without any further delay, let's check this out. Before I begin, I'd like to let you know that if you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section of this video and please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. So let's understand what is custom image. So custom images are ideal for situations where you have created and modified a virtual machine and that virtual machine is running on a disk and now you want to create a image of that disk so that you can reuse that disk image every time you create your any future virtual machines right for example let's say you are working in an organization and your organization wants that every virtual machine that you create it should have those specific ways patches or server installed so rather than you create your virtual machine and manually install those ways patches and servers you will probably prefer to create one virtual machine do all your configuration, all the organization level requirements, for example, waste patches and server and all this thing, and then create an image out of that disk and save that so that you can use that image every time you create a new virtual machine. The advantage with that is you don't need to memorize or remember all those extra steps that you need to do after creating a virtual machine every time. So that's a big advantage and that's why we use custom image in Google Cloud Platform. You can create your custom image from multiple sources. For example, you can create a custom image from your source disk, images, snapshot, or even images which are stored in cloud storage and then use that to create your future virtual machines. And once you create an image, it can definitely be shared between projects. So let's get into a demo and understand how we can create a custom image. So here I am in my Google Cloud console and I have already a virtual machine. Name is Hello World as you can see in the screen. This virtual machine I have created. I have installed an Apache server. I have configured the landing page of the Apache server. For example, this is a virtual machine which is currently running. And if I click on this external IP, this is a landing page of the Apache server, but as you can see, uh, I've already configured this landing page and you can see the message hello from technical potpourri. I have a dedicated video where I've shown you how you can create your first virtual machine, install the Apache server and do all the customization. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend go and check it out. I'll put the link in the description of this video as well as on the top right corner. So please go and check this out before we proceed. Now let's say I have already created this VM instance. I have installed Apache server. I have configured the landing page. Now every VM instance runs on a disk. So if you see here, this is a VM instance. And if you go to disk under the storage option, you will find out that this is the disk where this VM instance is running. We will create an image from this disk. This disk is having everything already Apache server installed, Apache landing page configured. We want to create an image from this disk. So definitely the way to do that, click here and create image. But you need to remember since this disk is associated with an instance which is currently running, you should not create an image. You can definitely create an image like if you go and click on this and say create image, it will tell you that this disk is already attached to a running instance. You can still go ahead and do that by, by checking this checkbox, but that's not recommended. Recommendation is you go to the VM instance and first stop the VM instance. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this hello world VM instance so that I can use the disk and create an image out of that. So now my VM instance is stopped. I'll go to the disk again and I'll create an image. So I'll give a name, hello world image Apache server. There is multiple way to create an image. 
there are different sources one source is disk snapshot image for this demo i choose disk and this is the disk from where i want to create the image from hello world if you want your virtual machines to run on multiple regions then you should choose this multi regional option and then here you choose for example i'm choosing us here i'm not changing anything just click on create it's going to create that custom image for me so now my image is ready what i'm going to do i'm going to create an instance template from this image what is instance template i have a dedicated video for that so if you want you can go and check this out i'll put the link in the description as well as on the top right corner of this video so now i click on the instance template and start creating my instance template i'll give a name let's give the name hello world instance template from custom image the important part is that in the boot disk i'll click on change and instead of all the public images i'll choose the custom image that i've just created so that's a custom image i've created so i'll select that and click on select i'll put http in the advanced option i'll go to the management and i will write a startup script i am going to type hello from sudipta dev and i'm going to put that under var www html and index.html that's basically the location where the apache landing page lies the index.html and finally i'm going to start the apache server the command for this service apache to start and then i'm not going to change anything i'm just going to click on create what is going to do is going to create an instance template for me the instance template is ready and now i'm going to create a virtual machine from this instance template to do that go ahead and click on this create virtual machine i'm going to give a name hello instance virtual machine from custom image i'm not going to change anything and just click on create one important thing to remember here like if you see this boot disk it's showing my custom image it's not showing any public image it's showing the custom image that i've created i'll go and click on create my new virtual machine is ready it's running now if i click on this page the apache server is already installed it already started and also the startup script has modified the landing page of the apache server so going forward i can use this custom image to create as many number of virtual machines and i don't need to memorize or i don't need to remember all the post processing uh, steps for example installing the apache server modifying the landing page installing os patches i don't need to remember all this thing those will all be taken care by the custom image so that's all you need to know about this custom image so i hope this video is helpful please hit the like icon and share and also please subscribe to my channel to get updates about all my upcoming videos till then stay safe thank you bye bye